In this video, I'm going to show you how you can derive the product rule for derivatives in calculus by starting here with this equation, y equals the product of two functions, f of x times g of x, and use logarithmic differentiation on this equation. Okay, so I've also included this derivative rule. It's the derivative for the natural log of some function, u. And so that's going to be u prime over u, and we'll use that a couple of times here. Okay, so we have this equation, and to use logarithmic differentiation, the first thing I need to do is go ahead and take the natural log of both sides of this equation. So when I do that, I'll have the natural log of y equals the natural log of, and we have the product of these two functions, f of x times g of x. Okay, well, why might I do that? Well, because now I can use the, a property of logs. Instead of having the natural log of this product, I can actually expand it into the sum of two distinct natural logs. So I'm gonna have the natural log of y equals, okay, so here's this uh, log principle that I'm gonna use, this log rule. So the natural log of f of x plus the natural log of g of x. And now I've split it up. So instead of being a product, it's a sum. Okay, so I have the natural log of y equals the natural log of f of x plus the natural log of g of x. So three distinct natural logs here. So at this point, let's go ahead and differentiate both sides of the equation. And uh, going back to here, we're gonna use this derivative rule. So we'll have y prime over y equals f prime of x over f of x plus g prime of x over g of x. Okay, not bad at all. So what we're trying to solve for here is this y prime, okay? Because this y prime is like the dy dx and that will give us our derivative rule for the product rule up here or the product that we have of two functions. Okay, so let's start on this right side, and let's go ahead and get common denominators for this expression. So we have y prime over y equals. Okay, so it looks like common denominators will be, what, f of x times g of x, just the product of those two rascals. Okay, and so when we get common denominators, remember, we need to do this approach. We need to fix the numerators and kind of figure out what we got to multiply here and here. So this first fraction had an f of x but we need to include a g of x. So let's multiply the top and bottom by g of x. Okay, so that's what that looks like, and then plus, and then of course the same process, f of x times g prime of x. Okay, so that's what we have now for our equation. But you'll see, we're uh, trying to solve for y prime, but we have this division by y. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by y. Okay, so these y's over here will cancel, and y prime will be left all by itself on that left side. But multiplying by y, what was y? Well, remember that y was actually uh, f of x times g of x. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just replace this y with f of x times g of x, which you'll see some really nice things because the f of x here and here cancel, the g of x here and here cancel, and I'm left with just this numerator. So f prime of x times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x. And maybe you uh, recognize this already. So what we have here is the product rule for derivatives in calculus. So you'll see up here we had y equals and then f of x times g of x, the product of two functions. So we're going to say that the derivative y prime is the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So here is our product rule for derivatives in calculus, and we derived that by using logarithmic differentiation.